Hello, everybody. Hi, Nikki. I think you're the first one here. You had a stressful day. I'm sorry to hear about that. Hope I can uh, alleviate your stress through music. So, just have to pin my uh, comment for. I don't know why I don't know why every time Facebook does not let me write a comment on my own thing I'm gonna do. Oh, here we go. I have to refresh the page. Okay, come on, man. Oh boy, it's the same problem. Okay, come on, come on, comments. Oh, there it is. Okay. Can comment. Hi, Karen Ann, nice to see you. Okay, I just put the uh, couple of things up. Uh, I've pinned the comment for the Covenant House, Dave's uh, tip jar, as you know. And also, it uh, would be great if you would subscribe to the YouTube channel. I've got uh, previous performances up there as well. So, I don't need this up here anymore. I don't need that. There we go, I can minimize this and get back to business. Okay. So good evening, everybody. Welcome to, uh, I'd like to welcome the regular crowd. And uh, thank you all for joining me here this evening for, uh, so let's see who's here, Susan Cornliffe and Karen Ann Xavier, um, Michelle Gardner, nice to see you. Very Naz, pleasure, as always. And Nikki, who I said hello when she just joined. So I've got, I've made some, uh, I've, I have some uh, technical improvements. So I have a light now, professional light. I'll uh, see if I can show it to you. So I've added another camera, which is my phone, but I have to make sure I put the settings on so it doesn't go to sleep. Um, screen time, general. I don't know what setting that is. What setting is your phone so it doesn't go to sleep? Uh, control display and brightness. Hmm, that's not it. Anybody know? Hi, Christine. Nice to see you. Michelle Gardner, Schillingford. Lee Nelson, nice to see you. Um, okay. So, um, screen time, no. No, it's... Uh,
Do you guys know how to change the settings on a phone so it stays on all the time? Anybody? Hmm. I'm in settings. Airplay and handoff, software update, background app refresh, date and time. Uh, no, I don't see it. Okay. Okay. The, the reason I ask that. The reason I ask that is I set my uh, phone up as a camera. Problem is, though, it powers off and goes to sleep. Display and brightness, says Camille. Okay, let's do that. Display and brightness. Settings. Um, do display and brightness. Auto lock. Oh, okay. Never. Try that. Well, let's see what happens with that. Okay, the reason is, is because, uh, as you'll see, so there's the other, uh, there's my, I hooked up my, uh, my iPhone as a secondary camera, so you could see my hands on the piano. So the other thing that's really cool is I could also do a split screen then. So I can go, oh, come on. There we go. See, how cool is that? So you could see me, uh, you could see me, moi. Nelly, nice to see you. Now there, look at the production value just went up. Got multiple cameras happening. You can also tell the time while I'm playing piano. And I've also uh, hooked up, uh, I just noticed now everybody can see my belly. I've also hooked up a, uh, a light, uh, a professional light, and uh, it's an LED lighting system that I got. So there you go. Uh, the production value, you know, keeps escalating. So now I'll go back to uh, just one camera view, which is this. This is what Ecamm, this program, allows you to do that. So I don't know, uh, is the lighting too harsh? Maybe I could, uh, thanks, Nikki. And maybe I could tone down the lighting. Let's play with that. Let's try that. Okay, I just, uh, apparently you can change the, I've never, I didn't adjust the volume, so I have no idea about that. Let me see if I can adjust temperature on this thing. trying to make myself look more tanned. Uh, hi, Marita, nice to see you. So uh, that's what I've done. I've uh, I figured out how to put the, uh, the phone on and also the uh, as a second camera and also the, I got a light, got a light now. I have another camera that I've ordered, but it hasn't come yet. Oh, I forgot to light the candles here. Grab a match, there you go, magic finger. Boom, boom, and boom. There, romance is now officially in the house. So, uh, still, I still, there's something that's bugging me. Just a sec. So here's here's this light. You see this light? Boom. There, there you have this. This is the light I have. Uh, let me see if I can adjust temperature or something. Let's see. Uh, no, that doesn't do much. 
there we go, let's see. Let's uh, try to see what happens if I play. Just pressing all the buttons now as you do. Uh, we'll try that. Uh, we'll try that, okay. And then maybe jack this a little bit because it's out of distance. All right, so there you go. We, that's the lighting system. Uh, yeah, Jeffrey Fulton is in the house. We've got enough real, real estate agents here. Hey, Jody Winder, nice to see you. Thanks for joining us. So a uh, little bit of housekeeping before we start off the show. Uh, as you know, um, I, raised, I have a, a charity tip jar, which is this right here, Dave's charity tip jar. And I raise money for it. We're currently donating money to Covenant House, uh, which of course helps out the homeless here, uh, youth in here in Toronto. And, you know, great organization. Everybody knows about them. And they, of course, are in need of funds to help homeless kids, especially during this time. It's got to be really stressful. And also helps them, you know, get back in school and, and, and back on their feet. So fantastic organization. If you can uh, make a donation and also in, in uh, gratitude of what, what I'm doing here. And also, I'd like to thank our fantastic sponsor, Home With Johans. I don't know if you heard of this guy. He's a real estate agent, David Johans. You could see his uh, uh, right in the corner, right-hand corner. Uh, real estate agent with Keller Williams. Some of my colleagues are joining us here this evening as well. So one thing you can't forget is that if you know anybody looking to buy or sell, you're in good hands with your hands, yeah. Helping your buy or sell in Toronto. So get your hands on your hands. Jackie, nice to see you. Push buttons. I'm a button pusher. Jody, I can't believe it. That's uh, nice to see you. And who else is here? Michelle. Uh, yeah, so um, slowly amping up the production value. I even wrote, that's a piece of paper that I wrote some songs that I should uh, try. Your son is, a youth, is in a youth, is a youth. Um, hey, Alp, nice to see you. So uh, as I start off all of my shows, um, so what camera position are we going to try? We're going to try I'm going to try, I'll flip over to this one here. There. So now you can see I'm going to start to, uh, mixing it up, man. And uh, now you can see my ceiling before. You never saw my ceiling quite so well. This is an irrelevant wire. We'll just toss that. There we go. Uh, some, some from the uh, sound tech must have left that over here. So I'm going to uh, play you I, every time. Every time I say goodbye, I cry a little. <clears throat> Every day that I start, I'm now, I'm well over 20. Uh, I love that you're saying, Michelle, that your son is a youth. Uh, all of our children are youths. We're old, they're young. So I love that you made a redundant statement. That's kind of fascinating me. So maybe you want to um, expand on that. My ch well, I would hope that your son is not an old man. Uh, Constantine Iliadis, Kalinichta. It's my friend from Montreal. We live together. Uh, Tacky is his nickname. Good to see you, man. Mark Kornbluth is in the house. Hey, Mark, how are you? Nice to see you joining us. Mine is 12. 12 is young. Ida, nice to see you, Ida. Wow, just heard that on the radio. What did you hear on the radio, Ida? I don't know what you heard on the radio. Um, he's 17. Lucky he lives at home. So I can relate, because I can relate to your cause. Yes, well, thank you. Uh, oh, I see, that's what you're referring to, homeless youth. I get it now. Okay, I'm a little, uh, yes, Le Leslie, I'm, I'm, I notice that I get more viewers if I put on a jacket. Otherwise, I would wear a T-shirt. So, you know, it's all, it's all in the ratings. So, here I go. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm trying out camera number two. We can mess around with this, which is fun. You know, I love gadgets. So that's my iPhone that I've set up as the uh, second camera. Um, so that's what's cool about this program. So here we go. Every evening, uh, so this is kind of a marathon of performances. And uh, I'm well, past, yesterday I think was my 25th night in a row. And uh, so we're getting up there. Nina 
Simone. Will Nina Simone covered all of the uh, jazz standards, which I will do. Taki says his dog is uh, 56 in our years, so he's kind of old. Hey, uh, yes, new view, Jamie. I got two cameras here. Look, I got, I got. That's my iPhone picking up, and I've also got this camera, which is the regular one, the Logitech camera. And the other thing is, I can, uh, I can split them. I could go. Uh, I could use two. Look at that. How fancy is that, eh? Because uh, just a, I'm just a fancy guy. Okay, so here we go. Here is I always uh, open the show with a uh, uh, a piece of music that is, um, and I can't figure out why. I don't understand why the iPhone aspect ratio is different. So, you know, whatever. It's all good. I'm I'm going to play now. Uh, a piece that always comes from the universe. And uh, as I said before, hi Russell, every, uh, this, uh, by doing this so many nights in a row, the marathon, I'm gonna have a whole pile of music, original pieces, like technically well over 30. Um, not fancy, somewhat Confusing. How is that confusing? Uh, there's Martin. My dad, Martin Johans, by the way, is my dad in the is in the house. Uh, okay. Yeah, I know, Andrew. I agree with you. Uh, here, so Martin, A.K.A. Dad. This is what I can do now. You see, I can, I can create a split screen. You know, I think I can do some other things too. Options, view. Let's see, camera. Uh, I can go. Let's see, options. Crop, uh, transition, crop, split screen. I don't know, stuff like that. So uh, that's that's uh, that's what we're doing now. So I'm gonna try this one. This is for the. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play an original piece. This uh, that I improvised at the um, terrible split screen. Well, there, there's my producer in the house. You know. <laughs> Well, too bad. Well, then come up. You know, it's not good to criticize. It's better to come up with solutions. Be a solutions-oriented guy. And according to Jeffrey, he loves the split screen. You know, you can't make, don't expose problems, come up with solutions, Martin Johans. Uh, here we go. I better put that water over there, because the last thing I need is a glass of water spilling into the piano. <laughs> Thank you. 
There you go. Hi, Susie. So uh, that was uh, tonight's um, beautiful piece of music on half a frame. Yes, Martin Johans, that is half a frame. And I'll tell you why. Because I thought it'd be fun to set up a second camera, which is the phone. And uh, <clears throat> the reason I, uh, what I can't figure out is for some reason the phone, like if I go like this, and I hold the phone at the correct aspect ratio, let's see what it does. Nope, it doesn't want to accept it at full aspect ratio, which I can't understand why. Let's see, output, um, options, high quality, crops, um, no, I can't seem to figure that one out. So that's a problem for my uh, technical uh, department, which is also me, who is also the audio guy and the producer and the, uh, now I've got to set up this phone again. But what I will do then, since you know, someone in the audience is complaining about the second camera. Uh, well, ma I won't mention any names. Is uh, oh, that's kind of cool. If I get this, I got it kind of on this octopus stand. So if it stays, uh, what I'll do is um, I'll do a split screen then, so you get both views. So I'll just go. Uh, I'll do this. There you get that. That's a full frame effect. Now I'll go back to. Uh, I'll go back to this shot. There you go. <clears throat> Carla is watching and she wants a full picture. Uh, Carla's my sister and of course my parent because she's the youngest, they do everything that she wants and now she wants a full picture. So I have to oblige my younger sister, do what I'm told. There you go. So now I guess this evening's show is going to be about family drama, family dynamics. Fortunately, we're not quarantined together, otherwise I think that would definitely make for a news story. Hi Sam, nice to see you. Uh, yeah, so here we are on another consecutive night of, uh, of Dave's virtual piano. Now, what I, I was thinking, uh, you know, sometimes pieces come into my head before I even sit down at the piano, and that one uh, showed up. You like that one better, the full, the full piano thing, Nelly? Um, you're in with it. You're in. Uh, you're. You're. You've been. Uh, you're getting paid by my parents. I think, Nelly. That's what's going on. So the reason. Uh, so the why. Where that piece came from. Like everything. Uh, we're all thinking about time. Of course, time is on our minds because you're spending a lot of time at home. Hi, Jane. Uh, Jane. Jane has gone back to work. She told me today, and she's a nurse. So I hope you had a good day at work, or maybe you're at work now because you're in Vancouver. So there's three hours time difference. So I was thinking about a clock. You know, just the, like just that, just ticking, man. That's time going by. You know, and then you just put a melody on top of it, which I guess was a little dark. I really like that melody. I was kind of humming it before I sat down, so I thought, okay, I'm gonna roll with that. Now, uh, I guess there's darkness. I'm thinking a lot of, I'm, I'm looking at all these conspiracy theories, you know, so I'm questioning. I don't know what's real, not real anymore. Uh, I don't know if you guys have checked out uh, Dr. Shiva, S-H-I-V-A. I've been watching him on uh, social media. And of course, he's blowing holes through a lot of organizations like the WHO, Bill Gates, and uh, pharmaceuticals. Just saying, you know, yeah, and I have more questions. The more things that I look into, the more questions I have, the more doubt I have. And I, yeah, you know, and you know, I don't know. So that's why that, that song was kind of on the dark side, just letting you know. If you wondered, if you, in case you were wondering. So, Carl, if you're in the house, uh, nice to see you. I don't see your comment. I don't know if you're here, though, unless you make a comment. So, here we are in a... Uh, so, Jane's working until, I don't know if that's Vancouver time or 6. I guess I'm assuming that's Vancouver time. So, here's a nice song by Jerome Kern that I'm going to play for you.
someday When I'm awfully low And I'm feeling blue I will feel a glow Just thinking of you And the way you look Tonight But you're lovely With your smile so warm And your cheeks so soft I will feel the glow Just thinking of you And the way You look tonight With each word Your tenderness grows Tearing my fear apart And that laugh that The drink goes your nose Touches my foolish heart Lovely Never, never change Keep that breathless charm Won't you please arrange it Cause I love you In the way But your tenderness grows Tearing my fear apart And that laugh that That wrinkles your nose Touches my foolish heart Lovely Never, never change Keep that breathless charm Won't you please arrange it Cause I love you And the way And the way And the way you look Tonight Ladies I can't see you But I believe you look Mighty fine tonight Virtually There you go, a beautiful song by Jerome Kern. And uh, so, yeah, that's uh, a lot of people have recorded that standard. So, I find it distracting to see myself on the phone on the side. So, I'm just going to put that aside for now. So, my experiment with the second camera is not, you know, whatever. I'll play around with that later. So. Back to business. Now, this is one of the little tripods that I use. There we go, back in the toy box. Um, Meg is in the house. Who's Meg? Where is Meg? Let me scroll up and see if I see Meg. Deborah, nice to see you. Welcome aboard. We're expecting you. Uh, okay, so. Moon dance, moon dance. I'll do another Van Morrison song, Andrea. I don't know why, but I'm never like playing moon dance. I'll play another Van Morrison one though for you. Blue moon, I could do moon. Blue moon, I could do. You've got the moon, moon on the brain. Whose moon are you checking out? Oh, Mag is Marianne. Oh, hi, Mag, A.K.A. Marianne. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining us. So I'll play a Van Morrison song to uh, roll into things here. 
I gotta find it. Where's Van Morrison? Uh, let's just go artists. Van Morrison, only guy with a B. Oh, I like this song. Andrew, I'm sure Shane sang this to you when he, when he first met you and you dated in Elmira. Well, it's, you said someone like you? That's exactly what I pulled up, Jeanette. So you're, you're in sync. Every time you go away, I smile a little. That's a good song. I'm not sure if I know that one, Ida, but I can definitely learn it. Because I, th I think I have to see if I can find them. Uh, the words. Someone exactly like you And I've been traveling all around this highway Waiting for someone to come through Someone like you Who makes it all worthwhile Exactly like you. And I've been traveling a hard road, looking for someone exactly like you. Exactly like you Oh, 
most never leave you. Really get to know you. Someone that I could spend a pandemic with. There you go. Uh, someone like you. That was for Andrea and Shane. Jeanette asked for that as well. And, uh, uh, Rob, it's not unusual that I never play. It's not unusual. I love Tom Jones. I don't cover a lot of his material, though. Uh, <laughs> oh, shucks. I could try. It's not in my wheelhouse, shall we say. Uh, I'll give that a shot later. Um, you're welcome, Shane. Uh, so how are you guys doing, Shane and Andrea? What, uh, what's going on? When are we launching the boats, man? What's happening? I'm still alive. I haven't done anything uh, desperate considering that I can't go to the boat. I, I confess I did go uh, to the boat today because I wanted to make sure that the raccoons hadn't moved on board and uh, assumed ownership. Knowing, so I actually screwed the hatches shut with wood screws because I was like, you know what? And I, I made sure there was not that I didn't lock any in the boat, you know, because then they would have just destroyed it. <clears throat> so went through the whole boat, no raccoons, no squirrels, no wildlife, all good. Yeah, we're. And I was the only guy down there, so uh, you know, except for the dudes over the on the other side of the fence who are playing with each other. It's funny that they get to indulge in each other, and we don't get to go play with our boat. World's a crazy place. So uh, <clears throat> here we are. Got professional lighting tonight. I don't know if you noticed that my my lighting is different. You know, <laughs> don't say hurtful things. <laughs> exactly, Rob. You're a boater. You know. <coughs> so I'm back, still drinking alkaline water, um, you know, which is good, I'm trying to flatten this curve. Uh, yeah, I know there's probably a raccoon dying to hang out with me, but I know Chris rode one across the bay that was actually opening hatches, so thank you, Chris, for doing that. So, uh... Kim asked for uh, that Commodore song, Easy. Go easy on me, because the bridge is kind of, uh, it's not, like, so I'm, I'm more of, a, like, the lower register guy. Hi, Lucy, nice to see you. Thanks for joining us. Here we go, easy. So I, I heard, uh, what, on Monday they extended this 28 days because everybody was just... Uh, loving it so much, you know, they wanted to stay in their home longer. So...
Easy. Um, easy like Sunday morning. Lionel Richie. So you don't notice much difference with lighting? I notice a difference. Okay, so let's see. Zero. Yeah. Yeah, this is, oh, that's with, oops. Shit, that was the wrong one. Uh, that was a camera. Okay, I don't want to turn that off. Okay, I turned the wrong thing off. There we go. Um, you didn't notice much difference with the lighting. Passing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, all right. That's without the lighting. Yeah, that's with the lighting. Okay. Okay, well then I'll, I'm gonna increase the intensity of the lighting. Okay, we'll try this now, see if there's a difference. Notice, do you notice the difference now? Now it's dark. What about now? Uh, no difference. Oh, God. I'm going to have to hire a producer. Okay, okay. That's okay, Lucy. It's a little better. Um, Shane, I don't know any Guess Who tunes. Okay? I don't know. I'm guessing it. What's a Guess Who tune? Like, I don't, it's not a band I really listen to, to be honest. Uh, to be incredibly honest, which I typically am, blunt, unfiltered, transparent all the time. Oh, that's better? Okay, well, that's good. That's good to know. Uh, hang on, one thing. I'm gonna... Okay, I did turn down the light, uh, the, the heat. It's getting a little warm. So uh, here we are uh, for Dave's virtual piano bar, now into uh, closing in uh, on completing four consecutive weeks of uh, playing every night for you, for my virtual audience. And uh, Trooper, no, Russell, don't know any Trooper. You know, some songs don't translate well to p solo piano. I don't know, I, did, so I didn't really I confess I didn't listen to a lot of that stuff, but I appreciate the request. I mean, if I kind of can fake through one, I'll do that. And if you say the name of a band, then I really have no idea what to play because I'm really bad with names and I wouldn't know who did what song. So better to request an actual song that I could try. Burton Cummings. That's another great song, Alex. You're asking, you guys are asking me for all the tough songs tonight because he's, you know, Burton Cummings has an incredible vocal range. Let me see. I'll look it up. I don't. That's going to be. Um, let me look first. Stand tall, Burton Cummings. <clears throat> now here it is. Let's see if I can pull this off. Going to definitely have to tr transpose it. This is such a beautiful song. I love. <coughs> I love this song. Let's see if I can wing this. Never played it. We'll have to, you know, find the right key. Then 
it. I'm going to try it in this another key, um, the one that I was just doing it in, because it seems to sit better. That went south. Okay, I'll try this. Hey, Rob Wessel is in the house. Nice to see you, Rob. Tashana just arrived. Nice to see you, Tashana. to do you can sing it at home for god's sakes you got me going on something foolish okay so anyways that song is just way too way 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 too high for me way too high that's why i don't sing burton cummings because you know my vocal range is like down here and his is up there and when you sing it down here it's not going to sound quite right so they go, hey, Natalie, nice to see you. So that's why. Um, I will play an original. But first, to redeem myself, I'm going to play a song that's in my key, in my groove, in my wheelhouse. Yesterday morning they let me know you were gone. So 
dreams and the plans we made put an end to you. I woke up this morning and I wrote out this song, and I just can't remember to sing it to you. And I see fire. Telephone line to talk about things to come. Sweet dreams and flying machines and pieces on the ground. And I seen fire and I seen rain. Sunny days I thought would never end. James Taylor, uh, it's a beautiful song, written about a very sad situation. And uh, nice seeing you again, Natalie. Natalie is a, uh, a di uh, I don't know, let's see if I guess this, plant-based dietitian. So if uh, you want to uh, get into eating more plants and find out about that, she has a website about that. Feel free, and also we got that, that Facebook group, um, Dave's Virtual Piano Bar, we're well over 500 people now. So I, I want to use it as a community group that we can share, uh, you know, what your business is, uh, what you do, and this kind of thing. You know, that's what it's about. Thank you, Lucy. And uh, Tanya Smith, nice to see you. Um, good to see you. And I'm glad you like that one. I like that one, too. So uh, Deshaun asked for an original. So I'm going to play this particular original. So I remember I, I used to play at a restaurant called La Maquette, and uh, that was a King and <clears throat> yeah, I think King and Church, I think it was. Angie, I don't think she was the owner, and uh, the piano it was a weird situation. So the uh, the piano was downstairs on the main floor, but all the guests went upstairs. So I literally was. Uh, I can play. You've got a friend, for you, Irene. <clears throat> So what was happening was I'd, I'd be just like playing alone in this room. And then they moved the piano to the front of the restaurant where the uh, window was. 
Uh, I could try Hotel California. And so people would be walking by, and I felt like I was in a storefront playing piano. It was kind of weird, you know. But, you know, I basically, I loved playing there because it, it basically, they, they fed me. The food was fantastic. And, uh, you know, so I ate well, played there two nights a week. You know, I just, because no one was in the room, I just, I literally practiced. And so there's the, um, the name of the church across the street. I'm trying to remember, St. James. It's called St. James Cathedral. And the, the bell uh, tolled every half hour, and it was an F sharp. So I used to play along with it, and this is the song I wrote to the bell. And so I call it the Bells of St. James. Sean asked for that. That's called the Bells of St. James. And that was inspired uh, by the church that was um, across the street when I played, and it, this note started it all. Uh, uh, and it was, uh, um, oh, thanks for the promo there, uh, Jeffrey. I appreciate that. <clears throat> so I call it the Bells of St. James. <clears throat> Glad you like it. So I have, I have uh, a lot of this music on SoundCloud. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Excuse me. And I will also, uh, I think in the past I've posted links to SoundCloud. Uh, it's also, uh, yeah, it's probably SoundCloud's the best place to go look for it. And uh, also the other thing, I put the YouTube link, I created a channel uh, on YouTube where I'm putting every night's performance on, uh, I'm, I'm loading it up uh, onto YouTube. Thank you, Maureen, I'm glad you like that. So when I'm releasing an original, Irene, that's a very good question. Um, thanks, Shane, glad you like that. Just like when I'm playing on the boat, right? Uh, so there's a YouTube channel that has all of the, it's got to have over 20 videos now up there. And so every night, every performance, every evening gets uploaded to the YouTube channel if you want to see them there. And you want to know when I'm releasing them, uh, Irene asked, well, this is what I plan on doing. So I will be putting um, a link with the, my SoundCloud and I'm going to be taking all of the songs that I've created at the beginning of every show, and it's going to be kind of like, I guess, the COVID collection, if you will. And I'll be releasing that. Uh, but I should get started on that fairly soon because it's, going to, it's starting to pile up on me already. Um, Jeanette says it could be in a movie scene. Well, a lot of the music that I write uh, is uh, very filmic, score-like, because... I wrote music for television for over 20 years, did over 100 shows. And so I still think very much visually. So when I have a church in front of me, that obviously uh, uh, sets it up. Uh, let's try it. So Jeffrey wants to try the split screen. Yeah, I could try that. I'll try. I have to set it up again. Um, so Irene, thanks for that. And. Robert, you're more than welcome. It's my pleasure. I, I love doing this, by the way. Uh, I, I love uh, performing every night uh, for you, and it's because it's, uh, it's a way, you know, every artist wants to connect, and so this is my way to connect, and the goal of every artist is to make, is to affect people emotionally, certainly to make them happy. So the, you know, the thanks and gratitude I get uh, is very meaningful for me. I'm very grateful that I'm able to do that, especially now when everybody is, you know, uh, challenged and, uh, you know, the, the, we're all looking for the new normal and wondering that, what that is going to look like. And uh, in real estate, they call it the shift. And in a shift, uh, change inspires change. So one of the cool things that's manifesting for me doing this is uh, by I'm basically practicing every night and the uh, you know it's making I think the show's getting a little tighter more uh, and it's not I don't uh, a lot of people you know are offering me directions which I appreciate and had suggested that you know I come up with a preconceived set list and stuff like that uh, I'm more of a fly by the seat of your pants kind of guy, which is why I tried that Burton Cummings song. I'd, I'd rather dive in and see what happens. Am I going to survive or crash? Uh, <clears throat> you know, one of my friends who I skied with, who sadly passed away uh, from a brain tumor, uh, his name was Jack, and he was a uh, backcountry skier, and he introduced me to backcountry skiing. And uh, he used to just scare the crap out of me and the places that he took me. I mean, there was sometimes you just, t I, I, it was a cliff. I said, Jack, this is not a ski hill, it's a goddamn cliff. And he goes, he would just look at me and then that grin and he'd say, Dave, analysis is paralysis. And that always stuck in me. He said, don't stop and look, just go. So every time I think of that, I think of Jack. Anyways, I had some incredible wipeouts. Fortunately, I never died, because here I am. And I, I broke a few things sometimes, nothing too extreme. Uh, we had called them garage sales. So that were, and it was fun, I gotta say. Um, it was, those were great times. 
So getting back, so there you go. So uh, just jumping and going. And that's why I like when I'm playing every night, I just kind of, and every night is different. Like what, you know, the energy is different. Different people yeah. come on board and, uh, you know, we get together and just play tunes. And I see what's going to happen. And the funny thing is when I played weddings and stuff, you know, and I used to always come up with a set list and the set list always went to hell, you know. You know, it was just, you know, tossed out because you don't know what the energy in the room is going to be like when, when you walk in and it's going to happen. So you just, you know, go with the flow. So somebody asked for, uh, speaking of request, Hotel California. So let me pull up the words for that by the Eagles. I, I can do that song. Um, let's see. Hotel California. Oh, somebody also asked for Lean On Me. I can do that song too. Was that because Carol, was that a Carol King thing? I can't remember. Um, here it is. So what is everybody doing with your uh, free time? Are, are you becoming uh, painters, authors? Um, you know, sculptors. What's happening? What are you? What are you bringing into the universe? You've got a friend. I can do that one, Lucy. I'll do Hotel California first. I think somebody asked for that. <clears throat> now you know <clears throat> when they wrote this song. What is that stuff called? Peyote or peyote? Check my seat. You want to you want to try the split screen? I could do the split screen thing. There goes the lighting. There are so many wires here that you it's like spaghetti. You push one wire and all hell goes. Everything moves. I have to get a. Uh, uh, Hey, Jacqueline, are you in the house? Jacqueline Grossman is here. Nice to see you, Jacqueline. Pleasure to see you on board. I say on board because it's just like you're on Dave's cruise ship. We're just hanging out in the lounge. Dave's piano, virtual piano bar. It's on a ship, I didn't tell you. We're on a virtual ship in the Caribbean. There's no corona. We're cruising, you know, sitting at the bar, ordering Manhattans, rum punches. It's all good. Okay, so uh, we'll see what happens. This is, uh, you have to bear with me. I'm gonna hook up this camera and see, uh, we'll do the split screen. You let me know if you like it or you don't. I'm sure you will. I'm inviting you to criticize, to, how shall I say, pass judgment. Um, okay, so let me go, here's the camera. I don't know why it doesn't, uh, I don't know why this ca camera is not, why it's not letting me change the aspect ratio of the camera. So Jeanette says don't. Uh, lean on me, I know we just passed on Robert. Yeah, well, that's why we played it the past few nights. So this is my ceiling. Uh, there's my light, oh that's wrong. Here, let's flip that around, there you go. That's me, there's my house. There's the wall I wanna get rid of. Um, okay, so I'm just going to stick with the one camera thing because it's getting too complicated. There, boom. If I can figure out how to change the aspect ratio of this, I'll, I'll do that. So it's, it's too, too, not going to get into, the, oh, that's a rabbit hole that I'm not going to jump down right now during the middle of this huge production. Okay, so getting back to uh, the Eagles. Desert highway, cool wind in my hair, warm smell of Kalidas rising up through the air. 
Up ahead in the distance I saw shimmering lights My head grew heavy and had to grin my head So I had to stop for the night and Then she stood in the doorway Heard the mission bells And I was thinking to myself This could be heaven or this could be hell Lit up a candle and she showed me the way There were voices in the corridor Thought I heard them say Welcome to the Hotel California Such a lovely place Such a lovely place Plenty of room at the Hotel California Her mind Tiffany twisted She's got Mercedes Benz She's got a lot of pretty, pretty boys That she called friends And how they danced in the courtyard The sweet summer swell Some dance to remember And I said, please bring me my wine We haven't had that spirit here since 1969 And all those voices are coming from far away You wake up in the middle of the night Just to hear them say Jacqueline, if I could bring you my wine, I would bring you my wine, but I can't currently bring you wine. Hi, Yvonne Taylor. I haven't seen you in the house, and you're asking me where I'm from. Well, I'm residing currently in Toronto, in Leslieville. 
Born in Amsterdam, raised on a gentleman's farm in Wellesley, Ontario, also known as a child labor camp, uh, which provided me with lots of character, autonomy, and independence growing up, so I'm grateful for that. And uh, have lived in a lot of different cities, traveled, lived in Van spent 10 years in Montreal, some time in Vancouver. And now I'm in Toronto, here. But I was born in Amsterdam. You ain't much if you ain't Dutch, you know that expression. <clears throat> so, how are you all doing? Don't forget Dave's tip jar. I haven't uh, reached out and say that, you know, Dave's tip jar, you know, the tip jar for Covenant House. Think of the children, the children. Let's help the children. Homeless kids, actually. Uh, somebody, oh yeah, Lean On Me. Somebody asked me for that song. That's a beautiful song. Bill Weathers wrote that, I believe. What my dad says about the child labor part, if I told you the jobs that that guy gave me, it's unbelievable. They're pretty hilarious. One of the, uh, they're pretty funny. They're pretty funny jobs. I'm sure he would love to chime in. I, don't, I haven't seen him say anything though lately, so I'm not sure if he's still watching. I can do Fragile by Sting, but first I'm gonna do Lean On Me. Uh, somebody asked, a couple of people have asked for that song. That's why I have so much character, because I, you know, my dad uh, gave me these jobs to do. You know, the one thing I'm grateful for is, you know, when we grew up on a farm like that, like he let us drive tractors. As soon as you were heavy enough to put push the clutch down on the tractor, you were driving. Uh, Erica, do you? My sister's on board. Erica Haney. Erica, do you remember when he made us chip the little pieces of cement off of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of concrete blocks because he was going to reuse them? Cinder blocks, as a matter of fact. So we had a little hammer and ch chisel, just like Fred Flintstones, taking off the excess concrete so we could use them again. They never were reused. They still, I don't know if they're still in a pile over there. But yeah, I remember that job. The, uh, but what was... <coughs> Don't worry, it's not COVID. The upside is you learn to fix things and take things apart and, you know, uh, build and do things. I mean, that's basically the beauty of living in a place like that is the tractor breaks, you fix it. Most of the time we broke it, so you learn to fix things. Oh, yeah, we planted a lot of trees, but I just remember the concrete blocks, Erica. Uh, Modern Love, I can do that song. Those... Those concrete and the big, the craziest job he gave me is he had me dig a trench. The foundation, the barn foundation was falling in, and so he had me dig a trench the length of the barn foundation. And it took me about three, four weeks of going down about seven feet with a shovel, just a spade, and I had to make it multiple levels because I had to start carrying the dirt out of there. Looking back, he could have just gotten a backhoe. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that, I remember that hole. I remember that, that big, big trench. Oh yeah, I raised rabbits. That was my first entrepreneurial business. I raised rabbits. New Zealanders, they were white. They're all white rabbits, little fluffy things. Yes, Lucy, really, I'm not kidding. Here, I've got a... Erica, you'll remember this house. That was, they, they moved into this log cabin. Uh, and do you remember uh, the cleaning the garbage out of the basement, uh, which took us days? Do you remember the fruit jars with uh, the, the jars with stuff? I don't know, there's things in there. It was, anyways. The people that used to own that farm, their names were the missiles. Erica claims I, the rabbits in the laundry room. Yeah, we put the baby bunnies in the laundry room. So the, one of my, uh, I was never good at biology. And uh, when I raised um, the rabbits, I, you know, you're supposed to keep little cards of uh, who is what, who is who. So you have all these cages, right? You have all these rabbit cages. And you obviously don't want to, you know, you don't want to, uh, 
have family members breed. So I got a, in, in, you know, a lesson in that because my first, I guess I forgot who was who, and the wrong buck ended up with the wrong doe. So I think a brother and sister, you know, uh, got, it, got it going on with each other. And so my first litter of bunnies, they looked like uh, penguins. Their legs were out perpendicular to their bodies. And so this guy at the farmer's market says, well, they're still fine just because we're selling them for meat. He said, just raise them anyway. So my first litter, lit, litter of rabbits were walking around like penguins. You know, there you go. They're a little, little, uh, little uh, memory from my childhood. <clears throat> Yeah, the first, but I got I got better. I got more organized, and I realized that you know I didn't I didn't want to get into uh, biological engineering rabbits. So I uh, I you know make sure I kept the cards organized of who was who, and kept uh, the family members from breeding, so that I would have normal baby rabbits. Got into uh, so that was my first entrepreneurial uh, gig. I should tell you about how my dad taught me negotiating. Yeah, but rabbits breed. That's why. Have you ever seen rabbits breed? Like, there's no foreplay. It doesn't. I think it lasts like three seconds. You put the doe with the buck, or the buck with the doe, and it's over like that. Like it, and it goes so fast, it's just a, that little white tail is just a blur. Play a song, says Erica. Okay, I'll play a song. Okay, this is Lean On Me by Bill Withers.
somebody to lean on, don't be afraid to reach out, especially now. Family, friends, your phone call, a text message, message on Facebook, Instagram. Bill Withers, for you. Uh, it's a few requests for that. That's such a gorgeous song. And the words are so powerful. So if you do need somebody to lean on, reach out. No, Jeffrey, I'm getting a nay on the split screen. I think I have to fix the aspect ratio of it, and then I'll mess around with that. I don't know why it's, the you know, an iPhone has a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, so I don't understand why it's suddenly changing it when I run it through the program. Technicalities, technicalities. <clears throat> I'll figure that out when I'm having my morning coffee. So, I'm just trying to see what some of the other requests were flipping up here. Let's see. Oh yeah, Modern Love. Somebody asked me for Modern Love. Oh yeah, uh, You've Got a Friend. I haven't played, I don't know, if, let's see. Irene, let's see what I can pull off with that. And then somebody also asked for, you guys are getting into the sad songs, man. Oh, that's a James Taylor song. I gotta find the right key here. Here we go. That's that. Oh, Carol King wrote it.
So I'm not sure if my parents are still watching. I, I hope they are. Uh, Martin Johans was on board before, so I think we almost might have the whole family here because I saw my sister Carla was up earlier and Erica's there, so that would be pretty cool. When you're down trouble and you need a helping hand and nothing no you know nothing is going right you just close your eyes and think of me Soon I will be there You know I will be To brighten up even Your darkest night And you just call Out my name And you know
wrote that, did you say? Yeah, so Irene, that was for Irene, who asked for that song, who claims it's not sad. It's okay, it's somber, maybe. Melancholy, let's go with that, melancholy. It's a beautiful song. So a lot of our great artists have covered that piece. So uh, rolling along and uh, getting to the end of our evening. So we've got a few few songs left. I always, uh, oh, uh, Susan asked me for Fragile. Yeah, we're, this, I guess it's a Wednesday night kind of a darker thing happening. Thank you, Deborah. I'm glad you like that song. Space Oddity. Have I ever played Space Oddity before? I don't even know. I'm, Irene, I'm happy I made your evening. And Erica, I'm glad you liked that. Um, so, let's see. So, let's, what was, now I'm confused. What was I going to do? I was going to do Fragile, and then I'll do a pick up a Bowie song. Uh, let's look for Fragile. And the requests just keep rolling in. Here on Dave's virtual piano bar evening on a Wednesday night marathon groove happening. <clears throat> so, what are you guys doing tomorrow? I'll be back tomorrow evening as I continue on my uh, uh, consecutive evening. It's kind of a challenge to myself. Oh yeah, Ground Control to Major Tom. That's also a dark song, man. Okay, if we have time, I'll see if I can squeeze that in. So, so let me, I was going to take a sip of this. I'm so distracted. I forgot that I had a glass in my hand and I was going to drink. What's the little the left? What's in there? Okay. Love Sting. I so love Sting. I love his voice. I love his uh, songs. Love his writing. He taught English, you know. He wrote this song about the uh, missing people in Chile during the... Uh
the rain will say how fragile we are, how fragile we are. And on and on the rain will say. we are it's a piece by sting how fragile we are and uh, yeah that's such a gorgeous song so somebody asked for a modern love let me go to that song we're going we're rolling through the 80s Of course, I do a very different spin on the song. Yes, you're right, Lucy, that one is sad. I would say, hey, Martin, nice to see you. Martin, you're late, but you're here. Thank you, Marina, glad you liked that. Who was, who was the Chilean uh, president who was guilty of all those atrocities of kidnapping uh, Chavez? No, that's the Venezuelan guy. <coughs> ah, those South Americans, eh? Inspired and, and financed by the Americans. Did I just say that? The Americans financing um, governments to overthrow democracies? No, that would never happen. Okay. <laughs> Glad you liked it, Susan. tonight. Jeanette, I agree with you. Pinochet, that's right. Uh, thank you, Andrea and Jeanette. Like, they're, you know, a Andrea is a, a producer, film producer. She probably up on the, uh, it was Pinochet, yeah. This, did he get killed, died, or imprisoned, or whatever happened to him? Okay, just curious. I can always look it up. You can Google everything, right? <laughs> Catch the paper boy, but things don't really change. I'm standing in the wind, and I never wave goodbye. But I try, and I try. And there's no sign of life. Just the power to charm Lying in the rain And I never wave goodbye And I try I try I'm never gonna fall for modern love Walk beside me modern love Walk on Modern love get me to the church on time. Church on time terrifies me. Church on time makes me cry. Church on time put my trust in God and man. God and man, no confessions. God and man, no religion. Don't believe. really work is just the power to charm I'm standing in the wind and I never wave goodbye and I try 
try, I try. I'm never gonna fall for modern love. Walk beside me, modern love. Walk on by me, modern love. Get me to the church on time. The church on time. God and man, no religion, God and man, don't believe in modern love. There you go. Modern love by David Yo. Oh no, David Bowie. And my ego isn't that big. But arranged by David Yohans. <clears throat> yeah, that's my arrangement of modern love. I'm, getting, I'm liking that song more and more. I, I ju actually just started playing that. Somebody requested that weeks ago. D dare I say weeks? Uh, dare I say weeks? Because, you know, it's been weeks that I've been doing this. Every night. Every night. Uh, so, yeah, I'm kind of made a uh, challenge to myself to see if I can play every night until the world returns to normal. Right? Because I believe the world is going to return to normal. We're going to be in a new normal, hopefully one that is more connected, not ruled by a strange Orwellian authoritarian power that uh, bestows us all with mandatory vaccines, with metals uh, that are connected to 5G towers. Not that kind of normal. The other more normal, where we get our democracy back and, and uh, we get real news and not manipulation through fear, mongery. Anyways, did I just say that? That was my uh, little, uh, that, that, that casual little uh, comment there, yeah. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We're at the uh, closing of this evening, and uh, I'm gonna be singing you this song now uh, called Smile. So no matter what happens, if King Jong Il shows up on your doorstep tomorrow morning, Junior, and says, I'm taking over, just smile, okay? Here it is. Written by Charlie Chaplin. Hi, Eric. I don't believe this is going to be a new normal, but that's a whole other conversation. And thank you. I'm so grateful that you joined me this evening. Um, that's my sister, Erica, who's joined us. Thank you for coming, Erica. And she's a nurse, so applauding you, your nurse. Applaud all, you put, here, I'll put the applause button on. I haven't done, so this is all the, everybody in the medical community. <laughs> so here, this, I've, I've been playing this every night as the close of the show. And uh, reminder to uh, Dave's chair, Charity tip jar for uh, the Covenant House. And I'd like to thank our sponsors who are fantastic. Uh, you know, Home with Johans, that fantastic realtor. If you know anybody that's, I'd be very grateful if you know anybody that's uh, looking to buy or sell. Don't forget that you're in good hands with Johans because you looking to buy or sell. Get your hands on Johans. There you go. So now let's play this song. I'd like to thank everybody for joining me this evening. And please share uh, the uh, so we can get uh, build our audience. I got and uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I've got all the shows there. Uh, I, every night I uh, upload them to the YouTube channel, and you can find the link uh, in the comments that I've been. And when, I, and when you see the uh, link tomorrow for uh, reminding you for Dave's virtual piano bar, I'd be very grateful if you shared that. And for those who have shared it, a uh, huge thanks. Smile though your heart is aching, smile even though it's breaking when there are clouds in the sky. You'll get by 
If you smile through your fear and sorrow, smile and maybe tomorrow you'll see the sun come shining through. Light up your face with gladness, hide every trace of sadness, although a tear may be ever so near that the time you must keep on trying. Smile, what's the use of crying? Cause you'll see the sun come shining through. Yes, you will. The sun will just keep shining through no matter what happens. There's still sunshine above the clouds. So reach out if somebody needs a hand. Make sure you help them. Somebody's going through a tough time and dealing with all of this. Be there for them. I'm there for you. I want to see you again tomorrow night. Beautiful way to connect through music. I feel very grateful that I get to share this with you. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. And don't forget, smile. See you tomorrow night.